Hello and welcome to Commenter. In this video, we shall deal with a trick to assign R or S configuration to a stereogenic center. Let's consider this uh, chiral molecule. We have to assign R or S configuration at this chiral center. First of all, let's prioritize the four different groups attached to this chiral center. Chlorine gets priority number one, phenyl two, ethyl three, hydrogen four. The odd priority group, in this case ethyl, is pointing below the plane of the board. So leaving this group, connect all the other three priority groups. One, two, four. Now connecting one, two, four, leaving the odd priority group which is uh, pointing below the plane, we get anti-clockwise movement. When the odd priority group is below the plane of the board and connecting all other priority groups makes anti-clockwise movement, then the stereogenic center is configured as R. Now let's take another molecule. Here chlorine gets priority number 1, aldehydic group 2, this group 3 and methyl group priority number 4. This group it is even priority number it is pointing below the plane of the board so leaving this group we can connect all other groups one three four and connecting one three four makes clockwise movement when there is even priority group which is below the plane of the board and makes clockwise rotation then the chiral center is configured as R. Remembering this table is very easy. You just have to remember this. Even thin line clockwise R. It means if the even priority group is below the plane of the board and connecting all other priority groups is clockwise movement then the stereogenic center gets configuration R. Now you change any one of these three. Next say it is odd, thin line, clockwise, it will be S. Let's see, even retaining same, even uh, thick line, clockwise, it will be S. You change any one of these three, it will be turning to S configuration. Now, if you change any, this two, uh, any of these two, even becomes odd, uh, thin line becomes thick, and clockwise, it will be R. Let's say, even becomes odd, this remains same, clockwise becomes anti-clockwise, it will be S. Now if you change all the three, even becomes odd, thin line becomes thick, clockwise becomes anti-clockwise, then it will be R. Once again I am saying, you just have to remember this, even thin line, clockwise R. If you change any one of these, it will be turning into S. If you change any two of these, it will be turning into R. If you change all the three, it will turn into S. Hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you.